This video is best viewed in high definition and full screen. Under the right side of the video player, please click the Change Quality icon and select 720p or 1080p and then the full screen icon. This section looks at features available through the interface only for administrators. The features are the approval queue, admin order tracking and invalid request processing. All three can be accessed from the menu and only appear to administrators. The admin order tracking screen is very similar to the My Orders screen but shows all orders submitted to the account rather than just those by the logged in user. If you have not done so already, we suggest you watch that video before this one. The admin order tracking screen has one extra column to the right hand side of the table listing the person who created the order. The screen also includes orders submitted from third party systems such as via art email. Administrators can also switch between accounts they administer using the business unit drop down list or the change business unit prompt on the top right hand side of the screen. Although you can view orders submitted through third party systems such as library systems, in the admin order tracking screens, facilities such as the cancel button are not guaranteed to keep the third party systems up to date. If you submit an order through third party systems, we recommend that you action subsequent processing through that system and do not use BLDSS interface functionality unless you are sure that the outcome will not compromise the originating system. The approval queue allows the administrator to see and process all orders for an account which requires mediation. An order waiting for approval has not yet been submitted to BLDSS. If you submit 2 hour or even 24 hour orders, you may wish to monitor the approvals queue frequently. The approvals queue looks and operates in a very similar fashion to the order tracking screens. Orders can be filtered and sorted in a similar manner and data relevant to the approvals process is shown in this queue. From the queue, all or some of the orders can be selected and approved in which case the orders are immediately submitted to BLDSS. Similarly, selected orders can be rejected by clicking the Reject Selected button. In both cases, the originator of the order will receive an email highlighting what has happened to their order. The order history includes entries for awaiting approval and approved actions. More detail on the order can be seen by clicking on the BL reference number. From this screen, the administrator can see the note to administrator, which may have been completed by the person ordering. The administrator can also approve or reject the individual order. Rejecting the order allows the administrator to select a reason and add specific text to inform the customer why the order has been rejected. The administrator can also change order details, for example to reduce processing speed from 2 hours to 24 hours to reduce the price of the order. In all cases, whether approved, rejected or changed, the BLDSS system emails the originator of the order to inform them of progress. The Invalid Requests facility allows those who submit art email orders to fix formatting issues and to select from possible matches should one or both of these options be selected. Fixing formatting errors allows well formatted requests to be accepted and processed as soon as possible while those which have formatting issues can be edited and resubmitted online. The administrator submitting art email requests will be emailed should the formatting error be identified. The resulting entry of the invalid requests queue can be edited and resubmitted or rejected. When a request cannot be matched to a stock item by BLDSS with a high degree of confidence, the administrator can select and match the item to the list of possible items suggested themselves, so allowing the order to progress as soon as possible and with a high degree of certainty. This concludes this section.